Well, does she feel like the champion? As the music rings out, the number one seed. She's all business here. Yeah, we can see. I think this will be interesting because two totally different styles, but both really flexible. Manages a little smile there as well. No, she be smiling at the end of this one. Well, Mayor Dinsel already up for the fight. Looking confident, really. She wants to, to, to be the golden one today. You can see it in her eyes, really. Yeah, the eyes flickering with intensity. Will they be flecked with gold at the end of this one? That route through there, four big wins. So impressive in Rome. Of course, Pani Pack just returning after having had COVID. Mercifully, she's okay. Dani Paz from Chile in charge of proceedings in this one. Big moments, first final. Looking forward to this one? Yes, obviously. <laughs> they are both really good. Olympic champion, European champion. Very this year, it was really her year, but we'll see now. This is the first time they meet, I think. Yeah, and I think it's, yeah, it's the first time for them to meet, but also Merv Dinsel will have seen that Pani Pack, you know, in the semi-final, she had to work hard. So yeah, she was not so dominant as exactly. usual. Maybe she can draw some inspiration for that, but she certainly doesn't lack for confidence. It gives you a little bit boost because you know she's an amazing fighter and a lot of her fights was 20 to zero a lot of the time. But now you can see that she's not on her 100%. It's good for her. And it's the perfect start from Pani Pak Wompatanaki. As you said, she's not quite at that 100% level, but she's beginning to turn on the intensity. Merv Dinsel, if you're an aggressive fighter by nature and you're going against a taller Olympic champion with a real pedigree... You need to use your patience, your focus, and you, need, you, you cannot run in the clinch fight. Really good front kick from Pani Pak. She needs to be really careful with her going forward because Fanny Pak is long and she'll use every mistake. Yeah, Capitalising on that aggression so far, good attempted head kick, well blocked there from Fanny Pak, Wong Pak and Akit. She looks, as I said, all business on the way in, doing the business so far, five up. She looks really calm to me. She's prepared for this fight. You can see Mary is aggressive, but her counters, her head kicks, she fought a lot of times, I think, with, with shorter fighters who, who wants to go in clinch, but she's using that well. She most certainly is turning it to her advantage. And also Panipak often nodding when the coach is talking, she's nodding away yeah. and say, yep, got it. And interestingly, Merv Dinsel going with the fake that Try to draw something, but Pani Pak just not impressed. She obviously she's not impressed. Really, she's just m uh, waiting for her to make mistake just to go forward without front kick. As you can see, she's really strong in the small in the clinch distance. Six zero twenty seconds left. It will be hard for Merve to to make some points now. Most certainly well for the Turk. It's been tough times. Team Thailand, so strong. Pani Pak Wompatanaki has a look at the score. Also has a look at the clock. And Dinsel, just a little nod there as if to say, OK, back to the drawing board and back to Ali Shahin here. Now, you know the question I'm going to ask you. What can she do? What can she change that could make a, an impact here? Well, we can see here that Pani Pak uh, is using her really good experience, but Mary cannot go in clinch without the front leg. You need to stop Panipak's front leg and then go into clinch because when you're just going forward, she will use that. She make uh, two points to the body, then head kick. She's using every mistake and Mary needs to change that. But she has a really amazing coach by her side. They need to find something new, something different. 
Second round starts from the zero, and this is the new opportunity for her. That's interesting, right? Because the momentum is no longer the, you're losing by five points. Yeah. You start this afresh. This is different. This is different. I think it's more exciting. It's good for spectat spectators. I think it's, uh, you know, we go in the right direction because when you start from the zero, you have pressure on both fighters. Yep, the pressure is on. But Panipak has that marginal advantage. One round up. Merton Sale trying to come forward. Well, she knows she's got good punches, but as you said, walking into that front leg. Yeah, she needs to be more careful. Six to three, two amazing head kicks in a in couple seconds, but we can see Panipak don't want to do clinch fight a lot. She's doing a lot of holding and pushing, just avoiding that clinch fight and using her using her long legs. I think I can understand why. If Merton Sale is firing at you, she's trying to keep it clean, keep it long. Good push kick again from the TIE fighter. Oh, this is a good attempt to head kick, really good front leg, a long kick, but not long enough. <laughs> Amazing kick from the inside. That's why I think Panipak didn't want to, to play in the clinch. Merve is the best at clinch fight, and she used that. Yeah, and Denzel loves a fight, and she's created one here. Forget the tactics, it's time for a tussle here in Paris. And Merv Denzel. Well, one gam John or punch will get her back to parity, but we know Panipak loves that front leg to the face and the hook as well around the back. The hook is amazing, really. You never expect that. You don't see that kind of a kick, and it's really one of the, her biggest weapons. Oh, she's got her hooks into Denzel at the moment. Marginal lead. There's the hook this time from the Turk, but Not to the body. Enough. Wow. I really didn't see this Same. head kick. Really That's why amazing. I looked at you. <laughs> it was so fast and Sale didn't see, see she's it either. Focused, she's relaxed and she knows her way to the gold medal. You can see that she's more experienced in this fight. Yeah, she's got the experience and the quality. She has one round on the board if she takes this one. She'll be restoring order. Merv did sail as you would expect. Yeah, this was, this was a good counter from Panipak, but only 10 seconds left and she was really dominant in, in, in the both rounds because Mary tried to put good 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 fight for spectators, but this was only experience really. And one second left, we have our gold medalist. First one in Paris, I think. And first one for you to call as well. Wonderful moments, wonderful performance. And a broad grin of delight. Well, she was really focused and stern on the way in, Panny Pack, but Showing the joy there with Che Young Suk. And this the personality comes out now. Yeah, the, yeah, as you can say, but I love this kind of style because you don't need to be super dominant or super attractive fighter. She was really focused for two rounds. She knew her tactics really good. She prepared it with her, with her coach, obviously, and she used that. And she used it to great effect. 